Hi! Welcome to my channel, Finding Judy. Um, this is a channel about cross-stitch and knitting, mostly. Yeah, that's basically all I've been doing lately. Um, my partner in crime, Lily the Schnauzer, <laughs> who, um, if you've watched before, you know, never gets enough attention and, uh, you know, waits till she's on camera to be like, no one loves me. <laughs> All right, so today is, I don't know what today is. Today is November 26th. It is Tuesday. Um, I thought I'd get this in because I actually have quite a bit to talk about and I'll be leaving to go visit my family tomorrow bright and early. I think we have like a 5.45 a.m. flight. Um, actually, I live in San Francisco and my family is in West Virginia. So I've got quite quite a long journey tomorrow. So, um, and this one's gonna go stay with her friend. So she'll be all right. She's not a traveler. Anyway, um, I think maybe I should get this started. I guess that was enough. I don't know. Um, all right, I'm just gonna say this. So I made notes on my phone of what I needed to talk about. Usually I do it on paper. I don't know, I'm kind of one of those people that does a little bit of both. Some things on paper, some things are on my phone. And then I realized the reason I shouldn't be doing it on my phone is because that's what I'm speaking into. That's where you're seeing me. I'm recording on my phone. So it's hard to look at my notes. And, and record. So that was fun. That was a learning lesson. All right, you. Let's lay down. All right. So, <laughs> this is a mess. I'm a mess today. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk about besides me traveling. All right, honey. <laughs> um, is anybody a forensic file fan? Anyone? Anyone? Have you seen the commercials for Forensic Files 2? It's coming out in February, so I'm super excited about that. Um, can't, can't get enough people doing terrible things, I guess. But they always get caught in the show, so it feels good. Um, speaking of this little one, um, I don't know if you guys have these. Sorry, I have to reach. Anyway, in, in San Francisco and surrounding areas and probably lots of other places where it gets dry, um, we have these things called foxtails. Um, it's basically like a small grass and then they shoot up these little, little sticky things. And uh, someone got one up her nose. So uh, that <laughs> required a vet visit. That required putting her to sleep and that required them pulling it out of her nose. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but this is what they pulled out of her nose. That thing, that thing right there. It's not small. It's not small. Out, right out of her nose. So there's been a lot, there's been a lot happening. <laughs> um, I'm gonna kind of go out of order because uh, last week I was in Vegas with my sister and uh, my niece. My niece was there for a conference, so my sister and I had a free place to stay. Uh, I finally, after like 15 years of wanting to go to Stitcher's Paradise, I finally made it. And it was amazing. And if you're looking for things, give them a call because there was a whole back room that I didn't realize I was allowed to go into that just has like big stacks of everything, everything. They're just there. So even though it is not time to do haul, I am super excited about all this. It's a lot. <laughs> um, you're gonna notice the theme. I like a particular designer a lot. <laughs> so I picked up this, the Nora Corbett Christmas Tree 2009. Um, it's a full kit. I'm just gonna throw this on the floor. Oh gosh, you guys. I mean, I kind of went a little crazy. My sister went next door and had a pedicure and a manicure. 
while I shopped. Um, all right, on the Mirabilia, I got the Rose of Sharon. Christmas Elegance. Ada, Ida, the Garden Fairy. No idea how to pronounce it. I mean, I I love her designs. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I got Rose Arbor. There's more. I mean, we're gonna be here for a while. This one, okay. I need to figure out how to put pictures. So maybe there might be a picture here because I took a picture of this in the store. Um, the woman who stitched this changed it up. Um, let me show you this. Also, there still might be a picture here, who knows. Um, this is Queen Mariposa. Ooh, maybe I can do a side-by-side. -side. I have no idea how to insert a picture. So it may or may not happen. But she, the stitched piece is on red fabric and what I realized later was the red part of her skirt is blue on the one stitched in the store. It was incredible. It was beautiful. Um, and I bought all the beads. I haven't bought these before. It's funny. I've always kitted these up separate. This doesn't make a lot of sense. So there's that. And the last Mirabilia, which is the newest one. I, I love this so much. The Baker's Wife. Kind of crazy looking i like her she's all powdered up and beads because clearly i'm starting all of these soon mm -hmm. um i did get a few cottage garden um the songbirds garden series um i just sort of randomly let's see this one is number one forever and ever number two marion bright It's raining outside so the lighting is well I feel like my lighting is always weird so that's just the way it is um, number four promises of spring number eight have courage I'm sure you guys have seen these right <laughs> number 11 autumn dream and number 12 heart full of gratitude All right, and then last but not least, <laughs> Stitcher's Paradise. I got Yellow Submarine from uh, Blackbird Design. I, okay, don't, don't send me hate mail. I do like the Beatles. I'm not a big Beatles fan, but it, it's so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, my husband likes the Beatles. I'm not sure if he's like a super fan or anything. I mean, not really, but he likes the uh, Beatles more than I do. So maybe I'll use that as an excuse to make that for him. We'll see. Okay. So now that I have gone out of order, let me get to a finish. I don't think I showed this to you last time. I actually can't remember, and I'm too lazy to go look. But this is um, Mr. Cat. I haven't finished finished. But look, he's all stitched up. So this was one of my mania starts. So another mania start. I think that's like the third one. <laughs> but they're all smalls. Maybe I'll get a few more done. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, works in progress. Well, I have not touched this in weeks. But um, since you last saw it. Oh, there's so much yarn. So much yarn. This is my little marker you can barely see. <laughs> you can totally see that, right? I just, yeah. Anyway, that's how much I got done on this. I still want to finish this. But, um, I, uh, well, we'll talk about my cross stitch. This is my car sock project. 
Um, this is Regia or Regia sock. My dog loves to lick. Licks. Does your dog do that? Just licks and licks and licks and licks. And then the couch is wet. And that's gross. But I digress. <laughs> um, here is my first sock for this one. Um, hopefully I'll get some more. I'm starting on the heel. So, you know, I've got some progress done on this one. Um, hoping to get some more of that done on the plane. It'll be on very, very early tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So, again, if I can get a picture. Here, let's scoot over and pretend. Right here, maybe, if I can figure out pictures, is a picture of where this was when I uh, filmed last time. I'm getting really excited about this. <laughs> I still feel like I have so much more to go. I mean, I do have a lot more to go. Roses of Provence. Guys, I mean, I really, I really love this. I'm, I'm a bottom up stitcher. So, I mean, I literally start and I'm, I'm looking at lines on the pattern of like, what's the lowest and which area is the lowest that I haven't completed. And then I go over there. So it's kind of, that's why it's kind of weird. But, um, yeah. I mean, she's going to be gorgeous. Just, just, I mean, I'm excited about this. So I have been working on her for like the last two or three weeks. There has been no alternating between knitting and cross stitch. That has not been happening. Um, so, do, do, do. Trying to look at my notes. Um, I might start something new. Um, there is a cross stitch store uh, kind of near my parents' place in Charleston. That's West Virginia for those who are keeping score. Uh, not South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina is a little more interesting. I mean, I like where I grew up, but let's be real. Charleston, South Carolina is a more interesting city. Um, but there is a, uh, what's it called? Village Sampler? I think it's outside of Charleston and uh, I'm missing a lot of DMC I, I thought I had this kitted up I have the fabric anyway I mean do you care maybe a little um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing today uh, so this is silver moon tea and you're shocked Mirabilia I have had this fabric well let's see I bought this around 2012 and pretty sure I had the fabric since then and you know the half of the DMC that I had in my stash so I would like to start this but we'll see if I I can get the DMC for that just, just wait and see all right I'm going to do the rest of my haul it's not nearly as much as what I bought at Stitcher's Paradise. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys don't understand. I have a small place. Um, and I don't have a lot of room for this stuff. So that's why buying haul is really not in my best interest. Um, I did get another Evertote bag. I really like her bags. Look, see. This one's really cute. It's... Uh, Little flowers, it's kind of springy, especially now that it's getting cold. Um, I like the ones that are like holiday, but I don't buy them. I don't know. Who knows? Um, oh, I don't think I showed you this. Anyway, um, what's in here is some things I'm taking on my trip. Um, this is another mania start. I'm going to maybe get some work done on this, but... Um, I did get the next installment of the French something, hang on, the French kitchen that, um, hands on design and summer house stitch works. And I'm so sorry. I forgot the name of the shop that I bought this from. 
but all that'll be below. If I, I haven't said that. Everything I talk about, I'll list below. Um, if you have questions about fabric or anything that I have forgotten to talk about and it's not below, just let me know. But this is the next installment. This one is pears and rosemary. It's so pretty. Um, I'm trying to get these done in a timely manner so far. The first one is done, so this is number two. So I'm taking this also with me to West Virginia. Um, and then, I mean, because this is kind of knitting a little. Um, so Nerdbird Makery put out some new stuff and one of them was washi tape. Oh my God. So these, it's hard to tell. I, this is little knitting. This, uh, those are little balls of yarn. So like that little cone, that's a little ball of yarn on top. The sushi little ball of yarn. They're all little balls of yarn. And then, um, you know, I got this cause gnomes, right? I mean, <laughs> this is so awkward. Filming is awkward, you guys. Uh, and then my big face. I clearly need more caffeine. Or maybe I need less caffeine because I feel like a crazy person. Yeah, hard seat, but you know, cute. You should go and buy some of those. The last thing that I got, oh, I have a couple over here. All right, it's kind of spread out. Um, so Mustache Yarn uh, is doing a, it's a camp knit along in fall 2019, Great Smoky Mountains. See, that's my side of the country. So look how cute. So this is self-striping yarn. So I think once I finish those Regia socks, there's like my eyeball. Um, <laughs> just, I feel ridiculous sometimes, but I love it. Um, I think I'll be starting these next because these colors are really beautiful. And uh, it came with this cute bag. And it came with, um, it's, uh, I thought it was Tuft Woolens. Yeah, it's Tuft Woolens is the company name. She makes these, um, so this is a little bar of soap. It says sock soap. Oh. I'm supposed to wash my socks with it. But it is Smoky Mountains. It smells really good. Um, then there is another Smoky Mountains. This is a little, um, it's like a bar lotion. And then marshmallow lip balm. I always, I feel like I always have one eye in there. So, cause I need to see what's going on. And there's a cute little patch. And then a map. If I want to go hiking. If anybody wants to go. <laughs> See, I'm always looking around. Hi. So, this is a lot of fun and weirdly, weirdly timely because um, a friend of mine came in oh, two weekends ago. And uh, this is a complete aside, but it's, it's interesting. For those of you who go to... Um, if you go to any of the um, the national parks, you can actually get a passport and like it's a book. And so when you go to these different national parks, um, you can go to the station and you can get them stamped. I mean, that speaks to me. <laughs> uh, I don't like to go out and do a lot of things. I like sitting on the couch. I love to craft, um, but I know I need to get out more. So I was like, this is a great excuse because I like to collect things. So now I can collect these stamps. Uh, my husband's happy because we actually went last weekend and you know went out and walked up a few miles um, over in the Presidio. I got my little stamp, hiked around the Presidio. So it's a win-win. It gets me out of the house. And I felt like it was weirdly appropriate that I had ordered this like a few months ago. And uh, now I have. A National Parks passport book and I bought the big one because I needed the big one ah oh, because I need more things in my life um all right before before we go I hope you guys have stuck around for all this um 
here's another old finish. I'm running out of them at the house, so I'm, will somebody remind me that when I go home tomorrow to either video or take pictures, there's a ton at my mom's house. <laughs> my mom has them all. Never done a long time ago. This is Savannah's Curtsy by Mirabilia. Are you surprised yet? <laughs> Shocking. Um, so here she, uh, sorry, I am gonna have to look around. I can't, can't see through the thing. Or I can do this, I guess. Oh, the glare. I really love this one. I just think she's so pretty. Um, note to self, I did learn a lesson about carrying threads. I didn't carry across, but you can see, you probably can't see it here, maybe. You can see where they're kind of behind, especially this white fabric. So I feel like that was just a learning lesson. Um, and I know better now. Um, also the pin stitch, oh my gosh. I feel like the pin stitch has saved me so much time. Um, and also helps with that kind of thing. I don't use it to, um, to stop. I probably would on something like that. Um, I'd have to go look it up cause I forget how to stop. But to start, I'm, I, go look up the pin stitch. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. There's, there's videos out there. If you're not using the pin stitch to start, I mean, go do it. That This way, I did the way where you were, you'd start, you'd hold that little piece of thread, then you'd have to make sure you're stitching over it on the back, and there was a lot of flipping. And now I just start on the front, and I just stitch until I'm done with that piece of thread, and then, then I do flip it over, but at least I'm not, oh, that whole starting took me so long. So that is actually something super exciting that I feel like it's changed the way I've stitched and it, it, I did the, <laughs> uh, words. It's definitely made my stitching a little faster because I'm not flipping, 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 trying to make sure I'm catching that tail to start. So thank you for joining me for my ramble. I mean, what else are we going to do on here? Um, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, if you hit the like button, um, uh, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I am hoping to get this up soonish because I'm going to be on a plane most of the day tomorrow and then I'm going to be with family. And if I don't get this up today in some meaningful fashion, then you might be seeing this, uh, when I come back from Thanksgiving, <laughs> who knows? But it's all good, it's all good. So, uh, for those of you celebrating Thanksgiving, have a wonderful time. For those of you who are not, have a great time anyway. Go, I don't know, go do something fun. That was, that was horrible. <laughs> go do something fun with your lives, that's what I'm here to tell you. <laughs> go cross stitch, go knit, go spend time with friends. Just, just do whatever you want. That's what. That's the only thing I can ask of you. So, I am going to go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.